Hi, welcome. My name is Michelle Montana. If you're new here, this is my interior design YouTube channel. If you're not new here, thank you so much for sticking around. I'm really excited about this video. Today we're talking about art. I'd like to start off by saying that I received my BFA in photography, my Bachelor of Fine Arts in photography, and I, I didn't stick to photography the entire time. My thesis ended up being sculpture. So I had a really well-rounded education, and I'm not an expert with art, but I do think that I have pretty good taste, and I'm going to help you if you don't know how to shop for art. I did all the hard work for you. I have my laptop here, I have my phone with notes, I'm organized, so I know that art is an investment because it should be an investment. You're supporting artists that are, you know, providing a beautiful thing for your space. It shouldn't be something that you pick up from Target. And honestly, some of the ones that I'm gonna show you, like the ones that you shouldn't buy from Target, are not cheap either. They're like 80 something dollars and I just think, wouldn't it be better, instead of buying something like that, to support an artist, if you can, if you have the means to do it. I know it's expensive. You know, there are other great options. I love thrifting for art, but I understand too that it's difficult to really wait for the right thing to come along because it's not like you can walk into any thrift store and find something amazing. You have to be patient when it comes to that and sometimes that's exactly what you should do. But if you have, a little bit of money to invest, not a ton. I found some great artists with some really great prices and let's just get into it. Buy this, not that art edition. So there's quite a few topics and it's impossible for me to get into every single one of them, but we're gonna start out in the world of abstract art. A lot of things can fit into this category, but we're gonna kind of stick to paintings, at least for the first few categories. This is kind of an abstract landscape um, as well as this. The, they're not, I'm, and anything I'm showing isn't necessarily bad. I just want you to find a unique artist instead. And honestly, places like Etsy, it's hard to weed them out. It's hard to find who's a true artist selling their work and who is a mass producer. But instead of buying these things, I found this artist. She goes by Mavco. Her real name is Mary. She is an artist based in Kyiv, Ukraine. And what's really cool about her work is that she has a lot of different kind of options and you can actually essentially commission a custom piece from her. You could pick your colors. You can kind of, you know, work with her on the design a little bit. But these are three options that she has as like a base. And it seems like she will kind of like, if you scroll through her Etsy, you'll see that she can kind of customize something specific to your needs. So if you're looking for a specific piece of art that um, you want it to tie well with your space or you want it to provide color for your space, she is a really amazing option and you're getting like a custom piece of artwork for not a like superb amount of money. I'm, I'm really sorry if I butcher anybody's names. This is Johanna Castilla. Her work is really awesome. You can look at her on Instagram as well. I think that's how I originally found her, but you can buy a couple of prints from her. She only has two prints available on this site called Planar, which is similar to there's like a bunch of other sites, Ideal Collective, Tappan Collective, if you've heard of that. But I really, I actually discovered plan art from finding this artist. So I'll show you, her, the stuff on there is really cool. They have like really, I like all of their options. Whereas I feel like on um, Tappan, I don't love it all, I guess. It's like mean to say, but personally for my taste, I don't love every single thing on Tappan, but I genuinely really like every single thing that they have on Planner. 
Um, and I think it's based in the UK. Like when it comes up, you like purchase in pounds. But they have free sh shipping worldwide. So anyways, not sponsored or plugged or anything. It's just, I found it, thought it was cool. But I really like her simple and minimal design. But I do really, I like her style a lot. And I like the paper that she uses. I think it's actually technically canvas. Okay, I know you're gonna call me out for the Mark Rothko trend that you're seeing, but Ninorto Lokemper, I believe she's German. I really like her style too. And maybe I just like Mark Rothko a lot, which is true. <laughs> Um, there are other types of abstract art, of course, if these are not your taste. There's plenty of other options, like the ones I kind of showed you on Planar, but I really like her work a lot. You can buy her work directly from her website, and they're really good prices, like 315 euros. I'm not sure how much that is in US dollars. I mean, 290 for this one. That's really good. And she has loads of different colors and styles, so just because the ones I chose may not be the colors for you, there's others. There's other options. Okay. Last thing on the abstract plane, I'm just going to quickly plug my husband. You may have seen his work before. Um, <laughs> I, I think he's wildly talented. You don't have to buy my husband's work. It's actually more expensive than some of the other ones I've been showing you. But if you want to, you totally can. His stuff is really cool. So check out his Instagram because that's the only way you can like shop. But just know if you want to buy anything, you're messaging me. I run his Instagram. So moving on. Landscapes. Don't buy this. You don't need the threshold home version of a landscape. When there are so many amazing landscape artists that you can support instead. I found Susan Tubins on Etsy. She has these really beautiful landscape oil paintings, which I really like a lot. Um, she has totally different vibes too. There's more than just what I'm showing, of course. And if I haven't mentioned before, everything is gonna be linked. Everything will be linked. Samantha Allison, I found her on Instagram. I believe she has an either an Etsy shop or you can shop right from her website, but she has really cool, sort of moody, watercolor painting landscapes that I really like. And I don't typically go for like super dark and moody art, I guess. <laughs> I don't know if you can consider my husband's work dark and moody, but it's not. It's light and moody. Okay, moving on. This person I found on Instagram as well. Really beautiful, small landscapes, like south of France. Just cute little kind of postcard size. Um, I did message them. They don't have any purchasing platform at the moment, but they said that they are working on it. So go ahead and give them a follow if it's something that you like their style. And I'm sure they will update purchasing ability when it's, when it's available. Textile art. I personally really like textile art. I like something that's got texture, for lack of a better word. Um, but I don't like threshold home <laughs> versions of textile art. I think there's so many other things that you can do to achieve these looks and, and really get something better than this because these are just plain mass produced. Anyone can have them hanging up boring in their bathroom. And you could have something like this. This is Roberta Wagner. I found her on Instagram as well. She sells right from her website. Her stuff is amazing. Everything's on sale too. Like everything is around $100 on her website. I mean, I can't get over, like this is like a, la a landscape, but it's te made from textiles. I just absolutely love her style. I just think it's so unique. And she dyes different fabrics and stuff. I really like her work a lot. Megan Polly Nespeka. I'm sorry if I'm mispronouncing. I really like her work as well. This is really interesting to me, this piece. Sorry, I'm like looking at my laptop. But I really like her, her style. It's kind of more like messy and but intentional at the same time. Like I like the way she has her color placements and stuff. 
This I really love. I think if you're not interested in color, if you like a more Joanna Gaines or like Leanne Ford style interiors, I don't know how you found my channel, but thank you. Thanks for sticking around or watching this. Anyways, this is something I feel like, specifically this piece, that Leanne Ford would definitely style in one of her spaces. And I absolutely love it. It's like gauzy and she also has a couple of options if you're looking for something for like a kid's room. I don't think that was necessarily her intention with this piece because it's called like anniversary gift or something like that. But I think that this would be so sweet in a nursery or a little a little kid's room. It's it's very Peter Pan and Wendy vibes, so that's, you know, kind of my thought process on that, but I really like the the colors in this and just like it's so whimsical. This one as well, it's like a mom and daughter and I just think that's like really sweet for for a kid's room. Sorry if it's not your intention, but that's how I personally would style it as a designer. So moving on, this artist, I found her on Etsy, I believe. Yeah, Madeline or Madeline, sorry, Provost. She hand dyes all these like silk pieces and I just think they're so interesting. Some of them look like landscapes, some of them are more abstract and the colors and everything, I really like her stuff, definitely check it out. I think it's a really fun option. And I think something that's fun about textile art is that like it's not, it definitely adds like more of like a three dimensional aspect to art, right? Of course, obviously. It's a little bit more interesting than just like sometimes I feel like I need to switch up the art in my space because I have too many paintings because my husband's a painter. So I like to have a photograph or something like a little bit different just to kind of break it up. Another great option that I just want to share with you, you know, I don't want to get into too much like DIY and stuff like that, but if you have something like sentimental, like a quilt that your grandmother made that's like literally tattered and falling apart, you can frame it. That's like free art. I love the way that this looks. And what a great place, like just in your entryway, make you feel immediately at home. I really like this a lot. Or, you know, I, I have a quilt that's my, my husband's grandmother made, I believe, and we used it to death. Like, we really shouldn't have been like washing it and drying it, but we have pets and it's like, I, I, have, to, I have to wash them, you know? And so this one is like literally crumbling. So I think that we want to figure out a way to either cut out a couple of the pieces and maybe do some other things with the rest, um, but frame a couple just so we still have it and we're honoring that his grandmother made it, but in a new and different way. Instead of using it every day, you still get to see it every day. And I think that's really, really beautiful. This is the last topic that I'm going to get into because I could talk about art all day long and nobody has time for that. When it comes to photography, I can be a little bit more picky. Not because I think I'm a great photographer, but because I was literally taught to critique photographs. So when, when choosing photography as art in a space, I just, I, it's really difficult because I found a few artists that I really liked some of their work. Do you know what I mean? So I chose a couple of pieces, but we'll get to that. I just don't think you should have anything stock imagey like this or like this. These are images that you can take yourself. I don't think that you need to buy these. Like, I would rather you take photos on your in your travels like buy one of those disposable film cameras everyone always looks amazing the colors are more interesting and you can get the um you know sometimes they'll put it on a usb drive for you and then you can send it out to a printer if at least that's what i would do you know there's lots of different printers out there do your own research on that but i just think with something that's so generic like a picture of new york city you can absolutely take that yourself and have it printed. But if you want photography as art, I think something like this is a much better option. 
This is a photographer named Dylan Don. I found him from one of those websites. I think this was House of Spoils. Really don't like anything else on that website. Um, personally, a lot of it gets a little stock imagey to me. It gets like, you know, so many photographers, I feel like, ooh, I don't want to get too critical, but I don't need to see, you know, your naked friends on the beach. I would rather see my naked friends on the beach. Do you know what I mean? Like, I just feel like it gets a little like hype beast type of work and it's just not my taste when it comes to art. I have nothing wrong with nudes, there's one later, but it's the way that goes about it that it just, I think that only frat boys and like bachelors that are trying too hard would buy. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> I also really like this. Such a great kitchen piece. These two were my my favorites of his work. Is what I should say. Okay. This I found on Tappan Collective. This is Danny Lane. Perfect for a little library reading nook. You know. A breakfast nook, even. I really like the colors. I think it's really playful. I like the anonymity of this subject. Moving on. Katie Burdon. Burden? Burdon? Sorry. I found her work, I think, on Tappan Hill. Everything's linked. I don't know why I'm trying to tell you where I found things. Really interesting. This I really like as well. Yeah, I just think her work is like a little bit more interesting. And her colors are also really good because I feel like, you know, you could buy this specifically because it would go really well in your space, you know? Just like based on the colors alone. Super different. And this I like, this is Gia Coppola. I really like, if you're really into fashion, this is something that I feel like is a good, fun photograph that you can really put anywhere. But I guess if you have like, I don't know, I would put it anywhere. I'd put it above my piano. It's just like a little bit more rock and roll. Um, I feel like my friend Alyssa is really gonna like this one. Yeah, something about like the way that they're dressed. It's night, it's high key flash. They're wearing sunglasses though. And of course the pleather, it's just good. Okay, that's it. That is all for this video. There's so much art out there. I just want you to challenge yourself, places that you can buy prints and things that I just think are good options. Like, you know, it's already technically curated for you. So if you don't really know how to shop for art, I, I mean, it is it is really hard. If I didn't have a degree in art, like, I don't know if I would know how to, like, look at art critically, I guess. Probably not, you know? I was really taught that. So those kind of websites are nice because they lay it all out for you, you know? Anyways, let me know if you want me to hit up some other topics, like, on this, in this kind of genre. Like, if you want me to do, um, I don't know like portraiture, get more specific with different types of art. But I feel like this is a good base, a good foundation. You can start here and figure it out on your own. Anyways, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video and please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to. But it really does make my day when I get comments and subscribers and all that fun stuff. So. That's it. I'm going to stop rambling. Thanks again so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next Sunday. Love you, bye!